Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But don't just sit there, tricksters. Come on, let's get busy. I can see balloons. Balloons. Come on then, guys. Do you know what we're going to meet? Yeah. Wobbly blobbles. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Megan and we've got Stephen, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr Juno. Hello there. Dr Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. Come and say hello to Samson, everyone. <laughs> oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, gentle now. We've been having a right giggle making wobbly blubbles. <laughs> what are they? Well, how about we stop the pats and dress Claude up as a giant wobbly blobble and show Dr Juno? It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. Why don't we just wobble blubble our way over there? Oh, wobbly blubbly. <laughs> Well, I've got to tell you, I went to see Tina and Raymond's new play last night. Oh, yes, it was their opening night. What's it called again? Then? Don't forget your banana. Oh, it was hilarious. I've not laughed so much in ages. Oh, do you know what? I must go this weekend. There's nothing better than a good laugh. Oh, it's the best medicine there is. Oh, you're not wrong there, Dr. Do you know? <laughs> I always say, a smile can make you feel fit as a fiddle. <laughs> no smile. Smile. No smile. Smile. No smile. Smile. Fantastic. <laughs> Do you know what makes me smile? Samson. Oh. Whenever he comes over and puts a paw on my knee, I just have to smile. Oh, well, I never feel down in the dumps. Not when I've got all the smiley, happy, wee, giggly faces of the children I look after to see. <laughs> no! oh, what was that? Oh, it's a balloon. <laughs> oh, Samson doesn't mind pops, does he? Are you okay, Samson? Oh, good boy. I just have to say good boy and he calms down. Nah. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. I think he's going to put a smile on our faces. <laughs> Excuse me, Claudia. Oh, Claude, I wish I could take you to work. You'd really cheer up my patients dressed like that. <laughs> Little Dr. Juno. Oh, is that for me? Oh, thank you, Megan. I'll just say bye to Samson. Bye-bye, Samson. Be a good boy. Oh, come right. on then. <laughs> well done, you two. Now remember, a smile can make you feel fit as a fiddle. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way. Way. Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that's a way. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. 
for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my work clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. Oh, no patient's files. I better go and see if they're in reception. Morning! Oh, have you seen Les Hendry? Here's your files. Thanks. Oh, is anything wrong, Les Hendry? You don't look very jolly today. Don't I? I played rugby yesterday against a team from Drumtown. I've been looking forward to it all week. So why the long face? We lost. 20 nil. Just a bit upset. 20 nil. Oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that. I hate to see you upset. Mm. Anyway, thanks for the files. <sighs> I do hope my waggy friend is happier than Nurse Hendry. <laughs> You're a good boy, Samson. Yes, you are. Oh, look, he's wagging his tail so hard, his bottom's wiggling. Can you wiggle your bottoms, boys? Oh, looky, Gary. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Dr. Gino's having so much fun at work. <laughs> Maybe you're pretending to be a wobbly blobble, Samson. I know. What Nurse Hendry needs to cheer him up is a bit of wobbly fun. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Yeah, that's very good. Can you come and see our patient now, please? Hiya. I'm Dr. Juno. Feeling better? Can Iona go home now? Is she all right? Absolutely fine. Then I suppose you can go. Good news, eh? What's wrong with everyone today? Oh well, it's time I got down to some hard work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights run up to the door. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take Very busy today. Oh. <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Rudy, what's happened? Oh. oh, Doc, I was working on the market store and I was thinking to myself, what can I use as an excuse to go and see the lovely Dr. Juno? And then it hit me. Why not drop a really heavy sack of potatoes on me foot? Ow! Really? <laughs> no, it was an accident, silly. <laughs> you poor thing. Let me have a look at you. Oh. Will you make it into the examination room? <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me to hop it. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Oh, oh, oh. 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 O
Shoes and socks off, please. Oh, are you sure you can bear the smell, Doc? <laughs> oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> you all right, Doc? Give us a smile. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, Jack decided to have some fun this morning while I was asleep. Oh, dear. Well, it looks badly oh. bruised. We'd better get you to the x-ray just to be on the safe <laughs> side. Nurse Hendry. OK, really. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Shall we dance? Did it? Did it? No, no, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's got into Mr. Grumpy? <laughs> Don't ask me. Oh, Samson, I wish you were here to cheer up Nurse Hendry. I love to skip in River Sea Pinkle, River Sea Pinkle, that's for me. OK, honey pie, throw it as far as you can. Stay. Throw it, Gary. Stay, stay, stay. Go pitch! Woo-hoo-hoo! Come on! Good boy! <laughs> I hope Dr. Juno's having as much fun as we are today. We'll have some fun when we get home tonight, Samson. Rudy's actually, Dr. Juno. Oh, no. Is it bad news? No. No broken bones, just bruised. Oh, so it's good news. Great, I'll tell Rudy. I already have. Oh, um, well, I'll go and say goodbye then. Nurse Hendry says you're OK, Rudy. No broken bones. <sighs> yeah. You just need to rest your foot for a day or so. Right. Good news, eh? Hmm. This is ridiculous. When Rudy arrived, he was happy and smiling. But after being with Nurse Hendry, he's down in the dumps. Everybody at the hospital is upset and moody. What's gone wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. The children were making wobbly blobbles. They really put a smile on my face. At eight o'clock, I got to work. I went into the hospital reception. Nurse Hendry was there and he looked very glum because his team had been beaten in their rugby match. At 10 o'clock, I tried to cheer up Nurse Hendry with my wobbly blobble. It didn't work. He was still gloomy. And so was the patient he was looking after. Then at 1 o'clock, Rudy came into the hospital. He'd hurt his foot, but he was his normal happy self. Then Nurse Hendry took him to x-ray. At two o'clock, Rudy looks just as upset as Nurse Hendry. The whole hospital is looking sad and down in the dumps. What can I do about it? Now remember, a smile can make you feel fit as a fiddle. A smile can make you feel as fit as a fiddle. Of course! Oh, Nurse Hendry, you've got to forget about losing that rugby match and spread smiles around the hospital. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it, I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. Beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. She's going to start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. That's what I like to see. Happy smiles all around. Can Rudy really go home now, Dr. Juno? Oh, Nurse Hendry, how are you feeling now? I feel as fed as a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Big smiles. <laughs> What we have here is a happy hospital, and I hope my waggy dog's happy too. Ooh, are you looking forward to this, Samson? <laughs> is everybody feeling wide away? Yeah! Me too! Hit it, Chuck! <laughs> Thank you.
Samson. Look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. A smile can make you feel as fit as a fiddle. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a wobbly bobble <laughs> because the children and I wanted to put a smile on our faces Later, we took Samson for a walk in the park. He was so excited that his bottom wobbled. <laughs> so we wobbled our bottoms too. Then Samson fetched a squeaky toy. It made such a funny noise when he grabbed it that we couldn't help smiling. And then we all sang a happy song when the ferryboat band played in the park. And Dr Juno spread lots of smiles all round the hospital because she knew a smile can make you feel fit as a fiddle. When you smile, the whole world seems happier. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Oh, who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, my darlings. Come on, let's get busy. Bring over all that box. Well done, you two. It's heavy, isn't it? I've got all this mess in this box from all my sporty things and it all needs sorted into piles. What do you think goes with the football, Gary? The football boots. What's that? Are they for your elbows? So when you're skating and you fall, you don't get your elbows all scraped. So you put that with that. And look at those funny wee gloves. Do you like them? <laughs> Me too. They go with the cricket bat. Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson, yes, with Dr. Juno. Hello there, Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson, boy. Come and say hello to Samson. He loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. Oh, I think that's enough patting. <laughs> to your basket, Samson. Good boy. <laughs> You'll get a good view while they dress Claude up as a roller skater. Oh, why don't we roller skate over to the chairs? <laughs> I saw some people wearing helmets and pads on my way here today. Oh. They were roller skating. You look like great fun. Oh, it is. It's the latest craze to sweep River Sea Fingal. And I have noticed that you've joined the skate craze too, Granny Murray. No, I didn't want to miss out. <laughs> I'm taking the children to a roller skate club later too. Oh, I didn't realise there was a roller skating club in River Sea Fingal. Sounds like great fun. Oh, it is. And the children all get to wear a roller skate club badge too. Here you are. Very cool. <laughs> oh, that's a spare one. You can have it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would really love to have a go on your skateboard, Granny Murray. Come on, then. <laughs> Here goes. Whee! Oh, <laughs> well done. A bit of practice. <laughs> oh, 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 careful. Oh, oh are you all right, Doctor? Do you know? <laughs> yes, Granny Murray, it was a soft landing. Oh, do you know, they can be dangerous things. That's why you need to wear your protective pads. Play safe. Play well, that's what I always say. Well, enough playing for me for the moment. I better get to work. <laughs> hey, 
looks like Claus joined the craze too. <laughs> well done, my flourish. I'll just say bye to Samson. Oh, bye bye, Samson. Be a good boy. <laughs> Come on, me. See you guys. <laughs> now remember, play safe, play well. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <gasps> Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine Time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh, yes. I've got to put my scrubs on. All scrubbed and ready. Come in. Hello, Dr. Juno. How's things? Very good, thanks. How are you? Are you ill? Oh, no, 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 no. I came here to get a chart for my class. What sort of chart? I want a chart to show the children why people come into hospital. That's a great idea. Thank you. How about one column for falling over? Yes, I'll call that Tumbles. And another column for feeling unwell. Feeling unwell. Sometimes people come into hospital just for a checkup. You know, just to make sure that they're okay. Checkup? I think one more will do it. <coughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry about that. Well, that might be because you're allergic to grass that makes your nose tickle. That's it. The final column. Allergies. Allergies. So. How would you like me to fill this in? Well, if you can put a sticker in the correct column for each person who comes into the hospital. Oh, all right. Thanks, Dr Juno. The children are going to be so excited. I'll come back later to see how you're getting on. OK. See you later, then. Bye. Bye-bye. I love to sit in Samson's getting on at the roller skate club. Oh, we're a bit loaded up here, aren't we? Taxi! Oh, that was lucky! Hi there! Hello! <laughs> now, let me give oh, you this. Pushed. Thank you. Oh! oh. <laughs> let me just give me that. Here we are. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Now, are you going to the roller skating club? How did you guess? Well, the roller skates were a wee bit of a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and is Samson going roller skating too? Oh, no, no. <laughs> now you lot, come on. In we go, seatbelts on, keep yourselves safe. And you too, Samson. Mm -hmm. Dr Juno. Is there someone to see me? Yes, he's in the examination room. Oh, and he says he knows you. 
Really? I wonder who that could be. Raymond. Hello, Dr. Juno. What's happened? I was at the roller skate club. I bent over to get my elbow pads out of my back. You weren't wearing your elbow pads? No. <sighs> But I was perfectly balanced. Perfectly. Tina would have been proud of me. Uh, but then I, I wobbled, and then I spun around, Ooh. and then I... Oh, ah, oh. Take a seat, Raymond. Come on. Uh, and then I, I, I nearly fell over, and then I tried to stop, and then I, I did fall over. Settle down, Raymond. Let me have a look. Can you wiggle your fingers? <laughs> oh. Well, you seem to be fine. You've had a nasty knock on your elbow, and I think it's going to be quite sore for a while, so no more rollerblading until you're better, OK? Oh, good. Oh, that's one for the chart. He was rollerblading, so that comes under tumbles. Well, I better get on with my work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. Here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there Oh yeah I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed Yeah To hear the heart Another rollerblade. Here you are. That's another spot on the tumbles column on the chart. Everyone's been rollerblading. So there might be a few more spots to add to that column. I wonder how Samson's getting on at the roller skate club. Right, Raffi, let me check your hat, darling. Oh, well done. Nice and safe. Now, Granny Murray will put her on. That's Granny Murray ready to go. Who wants to go skating? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Come on. Ready, Samson? <laughs> you look at those boys. We better watch we don't fall. Hi, Dr. Juno. How's the chart going? Oh, hello, Mickey John. Well, I feel doing quite a bit of it. I hope it helps. Let's have a look then. Well, there's a huge peak in tumbles. So I see. That section's way ahead of the others. This really is a crisis situation, Mickey John. All I've done all day is to treat people who've been roller skating. Where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I dropped Samson off at Granny Murray's house for the day. The children were busy sorting out sports clothes and finding all the protective pads for each sport. Granny Murray told me they would be going to the roller skating club later, and she gave me a really cool badge. At 10 o'clock, Mickey John called in to ask me to help him make a chart showing while people come into hospital. We decided on four columns, tumbles, feeling ill, checkups, and allergies. At 11 o'clock, Raymond was in the examination room, 
He had hurt his arm when he fell over on his rollerblades. At two o'clock, when Mickey John called to see me, we realized that we had a crisis situation. There is a big peak in the tumbles column on the chart. Now remember, play safe, play well. That must be it. People have not been playing safe. We need to make the city play safe and well. But how? Posters showing them how to play safe. Come on, it's race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a show to your friends, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do, I'm working for I'm gonna do it, she's going to do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it, she's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song No roller skating tumbles my posty cafe must be working! <laughs> Play safe. Do you like Dr. Juno's poster, Samson? <laughs> Samson. Hello, Samson. Oh, good boy. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Play safe, play well. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'll want to be all. Bye bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things and rushing round. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a roller skater because the children and I were going to the roller skate club with Samson. Dr Juno had to go on my skateboard. I gave her one of my special roller skate club badges. We had so much to carry that we needed a taxi to take us to the skate club. It was lovely to chat to Tina. At the roller skate club, we put on all our protective gear so that we could play safe and we had a wonderful time. There was an obstacle course for us to skate around with roundabouts and traffic cones to weave in and out of. It was such good fun and Samson really enjoyed leading the way. Dr Juno made some fantastic posters to remind people to play safe, play well, so there wouldn't be any tumbles visiting the hospital. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye bye honey pie. Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <coughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee big beans. Now let's practice being a ballet dancer and a ballerina. Pick our legs behind us. Point your toes. Point your toes and a wee pirouette. Spin round. Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Dr. Juno and Samson. Uh, Hello there. Hello, Dr. Juno. <laughs> Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson. Come on. 
Samson, everyone. <laughs> oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, gentlemen, darlings. Into your basket, Samson. Well, you'll get a good view there while we dress Claude up as a ballet dancer. <gasps> Come on, let us dance over to our cheers, my little swan. Ooh, I'll <laughs> try. <laughs> oh dear, I think I need a few lessons. <laughs> So what's all this ballet business? Oh, I love ballet. It's so graceful. <laughs> the men with their straight backs, twirling around, pretending to be tulips, and all the ballerinas up on their tiptoes, dancing around as if they were butterflies. Well, I'm not really into ballet. All that prancing around and never saying anything. How are you supposed to understand the story? Give me a funny play with funny jokes any time. Ah, but sometimes actions speak louder than words. Hmm. Whoa, take a look at Claude. I can't find the words to describe him. <laughs> Ooh, ha, ha, la, la. Oh, wow. Here, take this to work with you. It might help you learn to love Valley. <laughs> Maybe. I better say bye to Samson. Bye, Samson. Come on, you. Off to work, Twinkle Toons. <laughs> now remember. Actions speak louder than words. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine So enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh, yes. I've got to put my scrubs on. Rest and ready to go. Oh. Well, I suppose ballet must have something going for it. <laughs> Don't give up the day job. Oh, um, Nurse Hendry, are those files for me? Yep. There seems to have been rather a lot of accidents in the home today. Really? Right, burned by the iron. Oh dear, we've got to do something about this. People have got to realise that there are certain things they've got to be careful about touching. Mm. <sighs> oh, oh, sorry, Mickey John. Uh, hello, Dr Juno. Oh, actually, I'm glad I ran into you. Um, listen, I'm bringing some of my class on a visit to the hospital later, and I was hoping you'd give them a brief talk about your work here. Oh, I'd love to. In fact, I could tell them about how to avoid accidents in the home. All right, accidents in the home. OK, and could you also tell them about how exciting it is to work in a hospital as well? Sure. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Dr Juno. I'll see you a bit later. Hmm. I'd better go and make some notes if I'm going to give this talk to Mickey John's class. Right. Accidents in the home. Accidents in the home. Testing. Mm. Oh. Oh. I hope you're staying safe, my little waggy friend. I love to skip the Riversy Ping, the Riversy Ping, the Vigacy. I love to skip. Can 
you press the button for Granny Murray, darling? That's my girl. We'll press the button, we'll wait for the green man. Sit down, Samson. Good boy. Well done. That's us. Come on. And we'll look for cars, Joanna. Look for cars. Good boy, Samson. Well done. <laughs> oh, he's the best dog in the world, isn't he? Come here, you. Hiya, Ashley. So you splash hot water on your foot, have you? Oh, let's have a look. Oh, you're lucky. It's not too bad. Did you put Ashley's foot under cold water, Mum? Yeah. Oh, That's the best thing to do for a burn like this. Well, your foot's going to sting for a bit, Ashley. Yeah? But you'll be fine in a couple of days, as long as you keep it clean, all right? And stay away from the cooker, OK? Good girl. This is just the start of my day, and I've got plenty more patients to see. I better get down to some hard work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. busy today. Oh, not too busy, I hope. Oh. Is it forsooth that I lay down my sword, dear Genevieve? <laughs> Raymond, what's happened to you? Oh, well, I was making toasties in the buffy car and I forgot that the hot plate was hot and I touched it and I got a burn. Oh, you've got to be more careful. I know. It was rather silly. <laughs> and now I'm a bit worried. See, I'm supposed to be doing a mime show this evening and perhaps the bandaged hand might make it a no-no. What do you think? Not for a professional like you, surely. What are you doing for the mime show, anyway? I'll show you. Yeah, even with the bandy's hand. Oh, Raymond, you've still got it. Woof. <laughs> Woof? <laughs> oh, I wonder what Samson's woofing at right now. Would you like some hot soup? Yeah. Me too. There we are. Now it's very, very warm, so we'll need to be very careful. I'm going to blow all mine. Good idea, Megan. Blow nice and gently and stir it round. Blow and stir to cool it down before you taste it. Blow and stir. Oh, Samson. You'll get your lunch in a minute, my darling. <laughs> Mickey John, where are the children from your class? Oh, we've been looking at all the machines in the hospital. Very exciting. Oh, I'm looking forward to my talk. Oh, me too. We can't wait. So, uh, what's it going to be about? Well, it's going to be about being very careful in the home and avoiding accidents. Right. 
Don't stand on chairs. Don't go near the cooker. Don't bounce on the sofa. Don't trip on the rug. Hang on, hang on. It sounds like we should all steer well clear of our homes, according to what you say. Danger lurks in every corner. Oh, that's not what I meant, Mickey John. Well, you could have fooled me. It's all don't this and don't that. There's too many don'ts and not enough do's. Well, my class will be here in a minute, and what they do do is fidget. I just hope you can find some way to keep their attention. Ooh. Oh, dear. I've been working hard all day trying to help people and tell them to be careful so they don't have to come to the hospital so often. Now, I think I've gone and upset Mickey John and his fidgety class. <sighs> what did I do wrong? Where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. The children were doing ballet dancing, so they dressed Claude up as a ballerina. Granny Murray told me how much she loved the ballet. I told her I didn't. At 9 o'clock, I got to work. Nurse Henry brought in the patient files, and he caught me trying ballet dancing. Then, Mickey John popped in to say his class were visiting the hospital. He asked if I could give them a talk about working here. So, I decided to make a few notes. At 10 o'clock, I had to examine Ashley. She'd splashed hot water on her foot, but luckily, she was not too bad. At 2 o'clock, I ran into Raymond in the reception. He burnt his hand at work and was worried about doing his mime show. Then he showed me his performance. At three o'clock, Mickey John came to ask what I was planning for my talk to his class. I said it was about being careful in the home and all the things you mustn't do. But he thought it sounded a bit boring. Now remember, actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. Of course, if I want to stop the children from fidgeting, I've got to spice up my little talk and make it more like a show. With something to look at. It's the race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, oh dear. was a really exciting lesson. Oh, I'm so glad. And no fidgeting. I wonder if Samson's fidgeting right now. Stay, sit. Oh, good boy. Down. Oh, clever boy. And stand. Good boy. <laughs> and sit. And give Granny Money a paw. You special boy. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Actions speak louder than words. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'll want to be all. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> <sighs> but what was really special?
special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a ballet dancer because the children and I tried out some ballet dancing today. I told Dr. Juno how exciting ballet can be. Later we took Samson for a walk through the city streets. When he wanted to cross the road, I told Samson to sit. He was a good boy. Lunchtime, Samson was on his best behaviour in his basket. I made hot soup for the children, but we were careful when I served it out and the children blew on their soup to cool it down so it didn't burn their mouths. Later, I took Samson for a run in the park and I ran through his lessons too. When Dr Juno came to pick up Samson, she was very pleased. She'd remembered that actions speak louder than words. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Rachel and Gary. But that's you finished your lunch, so come on, cherubs. We've got work to do. <laughs> you go in there. Oh, that's me. That head. Pick one of those. Tiny straw. Let's get washing, you two. That's right, you give that a good scrub. Make sure it's clean. Well done. Now, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh. It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Hello and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, gentle now. Look, he's enjoying that. <laughs> oh, here, I think that's enough parting, isn't it? Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, he'll get a good view when we dress Claude up as the ferry boat band. <laughs> hey, are you ready for my concert? Oh, I'm ready. Come on, let's rock up to our cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see you perform in the castle concert. Oh, I'm so excited. Chuck's friend Lenny the cameraman is going to film the concert and everyone in the hospital is going to get to see it on their TVs. <gasps> We'll maybe bump into Lenny when I take Samson up to the castle to see the concert preparations later. Are you going to get enough time to take him for a run around? Oh, yes. We'll take Samson for a big walk in the park before we go to the castle. Long enough to tie him out? Well, why do we need to tie him out? Well, just so he can have a snooze during the concert. Last time he joined in and no one could hear the music. Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> well, we'll turn things upside down and back to front. First, We'll pop up to the castle and then we'll take Samson for a romp in the park to tire him out. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Hey, look at Claude. Oh, <laughs> oh look at Claude. He looks marvellous. All set for the concert tonight. Oh, here, I've got a good luck card for you from Samson. Oh, thank you, Samson. Bye-bye. <coughs> Try and tire yourself out. <laughs> Now remember, sometimes it helps to turn things upside down and back to front. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, Dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell Song, pedaling my way as I cycle along. Gets in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my cycling time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way.
to work today Looking this way and that away Hello policeman Hello boss Hello postman Hello shops Hello lamppost Hello stop Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my work clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Ah! Mickey oh. John! You frightened the life out of me, Dr. Juno. I'm sorry. Here, I brought you a good luck card for the concert tonight. Oh, thanks, Mickey John. Everyone from the school's coming to the concert. Oh, brilliant! Hmm. It's a shame the patients can't get to see the concert too. Oh, they can. Chuck's friend Lenny the cameraman has organised a special link-up so that the concert can be shown on all the TVs right here in the hospital. Terrific! Well, i better get back to school. Rock it to them! Bye, Mickey John. Hmm. Oh, Samson. I wonder what you're up to right now. I love to skip the river sea pingle, river sea pingle, that's for me. Oh, it's so exciting, Samson. <laughs> There's the ferry boat van setting up. <laughs> and there's a man fixing that light, do you see? Well, you look at all the seats. <laughs> oh, that must be Lenny, the cameraman. Hello there. Oh, Samson, you're going to be on the telly. Oh, fix your hair. <laughs> oh, I wish Dr. Juno could see you, Samson. <laughs> My waggy dog. <laughs> Only me, Dr. Genois. Raymond, what are you doing here? Is everyone OK? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I just popped in to bring you this. Good luck card. Lisa made it. Oh, it's fantastic. Thank you, Raymond. I need all the good luck I can get. I'm a bit nervous about singing at the concert. Oh, we all get the shakes before our big performance. But listen to Uncle Raymond. Before you go on stage, take ten big breaths. It'll calm the jitters. Like this. Ooh. In. In. And out. Out. I see. Thanks, Raymond. That'll come in handy when I'm on the telly. On the telly? Tell me more. Well, uh, Chuck's friend, Lenny the cameraman, has arranged to film the concert. I'm going to be a film star. Well, love the camera. Love the camera. <laughs> You're wanted, Dr. Gino. Oh, right. Um. Thanks, Nurse Henry. I'll see you at the concert, Raymond. Good luck. Well, back to work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a 
Good luck with the concert, Dr. Juno. We'll all be watching on the telly. Thank you, Nurse Hendry. <laughs> Just checking out the cobwebs. You have a patient in the examination room. Thanks, Nurse Hendry. Oh, Mickey John. Not another good luck card. Uh, no, it's uh, Benedict. He's hurt his foot during football practice. Oh, dear. Let's have a look. We're in a hurry, actually, Dr. Juno. I don't want to be late for the castle concert. These things can't be rushed, Mickey John. I don't want to be late for the concert either. I am meant to be singing in it. Oh, of course. Sorry, Dr. Juno. It's just uh, time's getting on, you know. Well, I think we'll wheel you off to X-ray. I don't think it's serious, and it'll be fun. Uh, will the X-ray take long, Dr. Juno? Not long, Mickey John. I'm sure we'll both make it to the castle concert on time. See you later. I do hope you're having a good run around to tie yourself out, Samson. I love to skip in River Sea Pinkle, River Sea Pinkle, that's for me. Hey, you threw it. Woohoo! Good boy! Come on! Oh, Samson, you are puffed out. <laughs> Dr. Juno will be pleased with me, won't you? <laughs> I'm going to be late for the concert. Benedict hasn't come back from his x-ray. And Dr Craig isn't here yet to take over. And I am due at the concert. Here's Benedict's x-ray. Oh. Uh, thanks, Nurse Hendry. Ah, good. Benedict's bones are just as they should be. Oh, great, I'll tell Mickey, John. Oh, tell him to get along to the concert as well. Yes. Shouldn't you be getting ready by now? Oh, I will just as soon as Dr. Craig takes over my shift. When does Dr. Craig take over my shift? Can I take a look at the diary, please? Thank you. Oh, no! Dr. Craig's mixed up the dates. He's going to the concert, and I'm working here. It's all muddled up. Where did the time go? At one o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Samson. The children dressed up Claude like Chuck from the ferry boat van. At two o'clock, I arrived at the hospital and started work. Then Mickey John arrived with the good luck card. At four o'clock, Raymond popped in with another good luck card and he showed me how to stop being nervous before the concert. At five o'clock, Nurse Hendry told me I had a patient. Mickey John had brought in Benedict who had hurt his foot during football practice. Mickey John was in a huge rush to get to the concert, but I sent them off to X-ray. At six o'clock, Benedict's results came back from X-ray. He was fine, and Mickey John could go to the concert, but I can't leave the hospital. Now remember, sometimes it helps to turn things upside down and back to front. That's it, I'll turn things upside down and back to front. If I can't do my concert at the castle, then I'll do it right here at the hospital. I just need to ask Lenny the cameraman to organise a few things. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Okay, and cue Dr. Juno. Well, the very 
go round, they play the ferry boat sails away, floating down the river to the ocean waves. The captain steers his way as engines pound away, churning down the river to the rhythm of the band. The radar swings, the ferry band sings. The captain taps his satellite map, sailing out to sea on the Your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet <laughs> Thank you! I hope you enjoyed that, Samson. <laughs> I'm glad he did quite well, Dr. Juno was singing it. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Dr. Juno would be so proud. <laughs> Wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it helps to turn things upside down and back to front. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dancing, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the ferry boat band because there was a concert on at the castle today. We took Samson along to watch everyone get ready for the concert. It was very exciting. Then we took Samson for a long walk so that he'd be tired out and wouldn't bark during the concert. Dr Juno was meant to be singing at the concert but she was stuck at the hospital so she turned everything upside down and back to front. Lenny the cameraman went to the hospital to film her singing there. Then we all watched her on the big screen. She was fantastic. Fantastic. Would you like to sing in a concert? <sighs> Me too. <laughs> I think a bit of practice a bit more first though. <laughs> bye bye, honey pie. Down to the city, city. where the ferry boat sails 